You know, just yesterday I was saying how the Nintendo Switch Pro rumors were flying out the rumor mill at lightning speed, and what do you know, the very same day more Nintendo Switch Pro rumors appear from Bloomberg. Hey guys, it's Rob here, and welcome back to the Robo Chan Show, where we cover the latest gaming news, leaks, and rumors from Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo in 2020 and beyond. If you want to be kept up on the latest gaming news, make sure you click that red subscribe button below this video and that notification bell so you know when I upload. And if you're interested, I have a Patreon, which link to that will be in the pinned comment along with my Twitter account. In this video, we're going to talk about some new Nintendo Switch Pro rumors that tell a lot about the Nintendo Switch Pro. Some of these Nintendo rumors are new, and some of them are things we've already heard from other past rumors. This comes from Bloomberg writer Takashi Mochizuki, and it tells some interesting things about the Nintendo Switch Pro, which are rumors by the way, and not confirmed yet. With that being said, they are coming up more and more as we get closer to one certain event that comes in just a couple months. I'll explain more on that later in the video, but for now, let's go down this rabbit hole and uh, take a look at these Nintendo Switch Pro rumors, or Super Switch as some people are calling it. Bloomberg writer Takashi Mochizuki tweeted out a new Bloomberg article that was titled this, Nintendo to use new Nvidia graphic chip in 2021 Switch upgrade. And alongside that article, he gave some interesting tidbits about the Nintendo Switch Pro, with the first one saying releasing later this year. Now this has been rumored for the past couple months, releasing later this year is more than likely Nintendo aiming for holiday 2021. Now the original Nintendo Switch was released in March of 2017. If you remember correctly, not holiday season. Now, I would say that it could release later than that if it wasn't for the 2021 release date. Once we hit January, it's going to be 2022, and of course, it's no longer going to be 2021. So, a holiday release for the Nintendo Switch Pro is almost guaranteed if these rumors are true. As for the reveal, the obvious place would be to showcase such a console at E3 2021. Now, Nintendo likes to hold their own Nintendo Direct and whatnot for E3, so I could see the Pro revealed at E3 2021 and hopefully more info on Breath of the Wild 2 and other Nintendo Switch games. And next up we have DLSS Equipped. Now DLSS, for those who don't know, is essentially an AI rendering technology that increases the resolution and frame rate for lower resolution and lower frame rate games. This AI technology is from Nvidia, which if the Nvidia chip inside the Switch Pro is from Nvidia, then of course it's going to come with DLSS. And this is probably how Nintendo is going to achieve that higher 4K image in docked mode. Next up we have better CPU and better memory. Now, this is just overall good for the Nintendo Switch. More CPU means it's going to have less pop-in, you can have more things on screen like NPCs, and you can have more physical simulation, which means destructible environments and whatnot. Now, having more memory will increase the frame rate of your games. This is something that the Nintendo Switch could use on games like Witcher 3, Doom Eternal, Doom, and even Nintendo Switch games like Breath of the Wild 1 and Age of Calamity. This is also good for Breath of the Wild 2 because Breath of the Wild 1 did use a lot of simulation and different physics in that game. Nintendo can expand on what was already built in Breath of the Wild 1, which is pretty exciting when you think about it. These paired with the DLSS technology of Nvidia could result in higher frame rates, more stable and bigger and better looking games, as well as better resolutions, which would work wonders on the next rumor on this list. And that is a 7 inch 720 OLED screen. OLED screens give you better contrast, higher brightness, more colors, lower power consumption, and it's more durable. When you consider the DLSS, the more memory the more CPU and the smaller screen, it would look incredibly sharp on the smaller 720p screen. And this is why that 720p screen isn't really going to be much of a problem. Which, speaking of, that's also on this list. If you have ever owned a PS Vita, you probably know what I'm talking about. And the next one is pretty interesting. It says, with a lot of games, currently it is rumored that some Nintendo Switch games, especially third-party games, will be exclusive to the Switch Pro. And this makes a lot of sense. If it has more memory, better CPU, can do 4K while docked, and has DLSS in docked mode, it would be pretty powerful and much more powerful than the original Nintendo Switch and Switch Lite. So third party ports and new multi-platform games would come to this console and of course not the OG Switch and the Switch Lite. In the past four years we've seen a lot of games skip the Nintendo Switch and if the Switch Pro rumors come true, that could not be the case anymore specifically for the Switch Pro. But this is a pretty vague statement and we can only guess what this means. This could just mean that a lot of Nintendo Switch games will play day one on the Switch Pro. We'll 
have to wait until these rumors come true or are proven fake. And moving on to the big one, price tag. Price can make or break a console as we saw with the PS3. The quote says analysis tip as much as $399.99. This makes a lot of sense when you factor in the price of the PS5 and the Xbox Series X, and the fact that the console can do 4K and holds better components, and it's just an overall substantial upgrade over the Nintendo Switch and the Nintendo Switch Lite. With that being said, I would like a 1080 screen, but aside from that minor gripe, the Nintendo Switch Pro is shaping up to be a pretty great entry in the line of Switch consoles. Assuming that this will come true and won't end up being fake, that is, which is always a possibility. I mean, I'm still waiting for the Metroid Prime Trilogy Collection. So what do you guys think about the latest Nintendo Switch Pro rumors? Would you pay $399 for a Switch Pro? And what sort of games would you want to be ported to the Switch Pro? Tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to Roborob Gaming for more gaming news. Thanks for watching, guys. And remember, stay safe, stay charged, and have a good one.